Hey you, what's going on everybody? It is AJB here, and I wanted to start, um, uh, not really a series, but if I find something interesting going on in the hockey world, I do follow hockey very closely, I would like to talk about it. So, um, first move, I mean the first, um, episode of this will be Roberto Luongo being traded and the Canucks's, the Canucks's, the Canucks future right now, because... It's really weird. The Canucks had a surplus of decent to excellent goaltending with Corey Schneider and Bertrand Luongo, and now they really don't have anybody. I mean, Eddie Lack is still young. He's still a kid. He really doesn't have the um, the veteran leadership that, what do you call it, that Luongo had, and Schneider was turning out to be an amazing player. So I have no idea why um, Schneider had to go, and then Luongo. Like, this couldn't have been planned. Because why would you get rid of both your starting goalies, essentially? You had a plan A and a plan B with Luongo and Schneider. And then they keep abusing um, Luongo. But, because, like, like, they didn't start him in the Heritage Classic. He was rely he it was viewed as a backup last year. They are talking about trading him then. And now he's gone to the Florida Panthers for Jakob Markstrom. And I believe it was Sean Mathias. Um, yeah, Sean Mathias, who's a bottom six player. He's not very good. So I don't know what they were thinking, because that is not an equal return in my opinion. I mean, Markstrom is going to be a decent goaltender, but for the Canucks right now, they need some veteran leadership. They're a veteran team, let's face it. You got the Sedins in their 30s. You got um, Kessler, which is another thing I'll get into, who's in his mid-20s, I believe. If, if not, is like he just turned 30. He's in his mid-20s, I'd, I'd say, or late latter 20s, maybe. But I just feel that they made a mistake here. Because they've lost 10 games in a row. Obviously, they need to shake something. They didn't lose 10 games in a row. But they've lost a lot of games in a row. I'd say it was probably 8 in a row was their peak. But, like, their last 10 games is horrendous. Um, they need a shake-up, but I don't think they needed that kind of a shake-up. And we just ran his goalie. <laughs> I've never seen that in the shootout before. Sedin just killed him. But... I felt like they needed a different shake-up. Maybe some offense in their um, repertoire adding to it. Not, to, like... Sean Mathias is not the medicine they needed, I feel. But, Ryan Kessler. I feel if they're going to get rid of Roberto Luongo, they should have gotten rid of Kessler, too. Because Luongo, once he's gone, you barely have any excellent goal... You don't have any excellent goaltending left. I mean, Eddie Lack is turning out to be an incredible prospect goalie. He really is going to be good. But I don't think he's ready. Because this team wants a playoff push, do they not? I mean, they won the President's so many times in recent history I don't know why they'd be going in the rebuild direction right now and like look at the Sabres they weren't ready for a rebuild so they um, traded all their good players they traded all of their um, assets but the Canucks they trade Luongo and that's it is there a plan because besides Eddie Lack I can't see anyone else really taking the starting spot right now and the Canucks like I don't know they've been plagued by injury with the Sedins um, I pretty sure other people have been getting injured too but I just don't know what the Canucks were thinking because this is a mo this means the Canucks aren't going to be really contenders this year but I don't know this is just a touchy topic because they very well could make the playoffs but also they very well could not make the playoffs because without a starting goalie in Roberto Luongo like it's gonna be really hard to climb back up in the standings especially with the way you've been at let me get the Canucks some records here I mean, like, they've been a great team in recent history, so I don't know why they would just... <laughs> I don't know. They had an abundance of good goaltending, and now they have just a young kid in the net, which is crazy. So, let's see here. Um, Henrik and Daniel both have 40 points as of... Um, pff, how many games played? 65. Here we go. So, the Canucks are just pretty hanging in there. <laughs> They are fifth in their division, which is not good. Um, to put it into better perspective, in the NHL, the Vancouver Canucks, just for reference, are in the bottom eight. They are in the 22nd spot in the league. They have a minus 22. Their last 10 is 1-8-1. One, one. That's what I thought. It was pretty bad. They're 1-8-1 one, one in their last 10, which is horrendously bad. And that's just that's just not a good sign. They need a shakeup, but I feel like they just made the team worse. So, what are your guys' opinions on the Canucks? Um, I'm sure Markstrom will develop into a good goalie, but I felt like they were pushing for a cup now because the Sedins are running out of time. 
I mean, not that they're old now, but they're certainly, like, reaching the end of their prime, I'd say. So, comment what you guys have to think, but, yeah, this has just been a quick commentary on the Vancouver Canucks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.